Did you know that for every one ton of cardboard that we recycle, we can save nine cubic yards of landfill space? That's a lot. So we need to think about that. So the next project is this little angel. They're actually little tea. They're, it's called tea forte. And it comes in this little triangle box. And it, just, it was just saying to me, you have to make something with me. The cool thing about these, too, if you ever see these, is they have a little leaf in them, which I'm going to use for something else, that actually has a little fortune on it. And then they also have the little tea bag that actually has a leaf on it. And the tea bag is, is a little triangle net. But I'm using the little container today to make this little angel. So the first thing that I did was I opened it up. And I put in the inside. I put two holes with a pin. One and two. And that's going to be for the wire for the legs. And then what I did was I put, I actually put the wire. And this is some decorative wire. It's just in gold. And I think it's probably about, oh, probably about 22 gauge, maybe 24 gauge. And it's a piece that's probably 10 inches long. Put that in. And see how it comes out like that. That's going to be the legs. Next step I did was I glued in a toothpick where it has like about, oh, maybe a half inch coming out. And I glued it in right here with the Aline's Tacky Glue. Next step is I'm going to close it back up. And I'm going to glue it back together. Did you know that you can make your own decoupage paper? Because that's what I did on this project. Now I can see the way I put the legs that they doesn't quite work where the wire comes out, so that's OK. I need a little bit of glue, a little bit more glue on this. I can't wait until the, the dry adhesive dots come, come out, because they would be perfect for a project like this to put it together very quickly. OK, so now the front of our our angel is going to be opposite where we put where we have that seam. And when I'm talking about doing your own decoupage paper, if you print out your own paper, this one is all about magic. And I just printed out all kinds of things that I wanted to say. Play magical games. Feels good. It's like magic. Put love into it. So I, I typed all these out, and then I did, I did a photocopy of it. I didn't do the ink. I did a photocopy of it. The photocopy is, actually has like a carbon in it, so it won't, uh, it won't get uh, messed up when you use the collage podge. And I just tear it, and I just went over. I'm going to pour a little bit of the collage glue out. And like I said, I'm using, today I'm using the Aleens. And I'm using Collage Podge, and it's matte, but you can use any one you want. The Aleens Collage Podge also, also has one that has um, sparkles in it, which is kind of fun. So what you're going to do is you're going to put, you're going to put your collage glue onto the piece, and then you're going to do it on the back of the piece and then put it in onto your little piece. And then you're going to just put another coat over the top. And you just keep doing that. Just keep covering it. And I'm looking up at the chat room right now. Yes, old books are lots of fun to, to use and recycle. I liked it where I could do my own words because it just kind of made it a little bit more personal for, for me if I'm giving this as a gift. I mean, you also could even put the person's name, the angel's name that it is. Keep, keep covering it up. Again, you always, always put it on, on the project, on the back of the piece, 
and then over and then you're going to put it over the top that works the best to had a little chunk of glue on that one that works the best to get it to apply when you're doing any kind of collage if you miss any of those steps and you get bubbles that's why you get bubbles is because you don't you're not putting it underneath and on the piece and over I actually have a little bead that's a little wooden bead that's about uh, probably five eighths of an inch. I painted it beige or flesh tone. I put it on the top like so. And then I had some hair. And remember how I showed you how I, I wrapped that hair um, for the little soda cans? You wrap it around on your, your fingers, tie it right here, and then you're going to just cut it. And this is what's going to glue onto the top for her hair. And then you can dial it too. It gives you her hair. And the legs where we put the wire, I have some really cool little oval beads. And I just put them on the end of her legs, bend them up. I use a little uh, needle nose and kind of give it a little hook so it doesn't come off and then bend it for her legs like so and then for her let me get the one here for her for her wings I actually tied a ribbon and just glued it to the back and then I gave because we're I'm thinking about Valentine's Day I gave her a little heart and I tied some little ribbon into a knot and then I put a little heart on it, and then she has a little wedding ring for her crown. Isn't she cute? And we've recycled. Now, another thing that I did that I forgot to tell you on this particular one is before I sealed it up, I put lavender buds into it. 